about this story, there's a man named Vicente who volunteered himself to tutor the two, which is a boy and a girl. Vicente gave them pencil due to his kindness. The family trusted him so much. On that evening, Vicente came earlier than usual. The children noticed him that made them put their lesson down. They started talking. Vicente asked the boy Oscar to get him a glass of water, then the boy left. He held the girl and put on his lap. The little girl felt uncomfortable. Vicente's face was all and wet and his eyes looked very strange. The little girl jumped away and the mother saw everything what happened. She slapped and threw Vicente out of the house. So what are your thoughts about the short story Magnificence? I remember that story from my aunt's in college, and it's made by Australia at home. Uh, this story is so strong and uh, more on empowerment for women. So what is the theme of the short story of the process? The next theme is all about how a mother will turn to a woman to fight a mother's right terms of abuse. It shows the empowerment of women. So what lesson did you learn? The lesson that I learned is we must not be an empathetic person, that we must be aware of what are really are significant to us. Trust is not inherited, but it's gained. So what are your thoughts about the short story from your business? After reading the story, I learned that I was moved by how the mother is that out for the challenge just to protect their children. Every mother would definitely do anything to keep their children safe. I am very thankful and blessed that God gave me a mother who saves God's my illness. The act of state, stepping out from shadows of the mother is somewhat similar to keeping out from their comfort zone. To try and discover new great things that you would never have thought or imagine you can do reach. And even though the child doesn't harm, the mental impact and trauma that she has developed will stay and will be in her mind for a life. And because of that, it will be hard for her to connect and trust other people. I believe the moral of the story is to be cautious and not, be, and not to trust people easily, especially strangers. So what is the point of view of the short story? The point of view of the story is the only same point of view. Because the author sees all, knows all, and tells all what is the story is supposed to be. So what are your thoughts about the short story of the business? My thoughts about the is the beginning of the story. The man is displaced, a somewhat innocent, yet worthy his attraction to children. At first, I thought that perhaps he connects better with children than adults. Such as cases are not unheard of. As the story progresses, the intentions of the man are slowly being uncovered. Watch like it's stepping out of the light and into the darkness, which is a theme in the story. The man, Vicente, turns from the favorable character to one who we discuss. Once it is apparent that he is a children monster. One another thing I like about the story was the character of the mother. You see the change in personality of character from a sweet kind and loving mother who see her turn into one who is first and aggressive in her defense of her daughter. It's once again like stepping from out of the light and into the darkness. Who are the characters of the story? The characters in the story. The girl. She wasn't given a name in the story. She's seven years old. Oscar. The girl's older brother. He's eight years old. Vicente, a young bus conductor who heard the tutor the ch two children in their math and English assignments. The mother, the mother of the two kids. She wasn't named in the story. The father, the father of the two kids. He wasn't named in the story. So what are your thoughts about the short story? 
The story mainly talks about the protection given by the mother to her children. She saved her child from the hands of a pervert, Vicente. The mother was unnamed because it represents universality, meaning it can happen to anybody and that mother can be any mother. The title itself posed significance, meaning magnificence, is the adjective used to describe the presence of a mother's guidance. It was entitled magnificence because of how the mother reacted brilliantly on the situation. Most of us, upon knowing that our child was sexually abused, might scream and become scandalous regarding the effects to the respondent for the innocent child that doesn't even know what had happened to her. The act of the mother was magnificent because, in overacting, she treated her child as if nothing that happened, leaving, leaving the child ignorant that she had been sexually abused. It was magnificent because if the mother had overreacted about the crime, the child would grow without confidence knowing that she has been a victim of, of sexual harassment. So what are the settings of the short story in Genesis? The settings of the magnificent story happened at the house of the two children. So what are your thoughts about the short story in Genesis? So basically, this story taught me some lessons. This includes to not easily trust anyone, especially a stranger. Do not let them enter your house nor touch your children without knowing them too well. But if you ever trust someone and they betray you, do not hesitate to chase them away just like what the mother did in the story. This story basically showed us that women are not weak and so men should not take an advantage in them. So what are the plans? The short story. So the plot of the story begins when the mother busts the young girl and throws the clothes that was used by the girl at the garbage bin and the next day she burned it along with the pencil. Next is the rising action. One evening, Vicente came earlier than usual. The children immediately put their lesson down and told him to invade other classmates from the pencils he gave them. They then asked Oscar to get him a glass of water. Next is the climax. Vicente held the little girl by the arm, then let the girl take her full trust, and when he took the little girl up lightly in his arms and holding her under armpits, then held her to sit down on his lap, then the girl keep squirming and for somehow she felt uncomfortable to be held and looked. Lastly is the falling action. The mother bathed the little girl and dressed her in new clothes. The little girl went to sleep. The mother then took the pencils and then the clothes her daughter had worn and put it aside for tomorrow. Tomorrow came and she put it in the fire 